behind and merge with the other life forms who have reached this level. Together, you will form the great collective spirit that is called the One. This is the path you are now on. In terms of progress, you are halfway home. Why? Because you have reached the complexity level of sentience. You are no longer an animal simply following genetically defined behavior patterns alone. You now have the capacity to change the course of your own destiny by conceiving of a new way or reality in which to exist. You have now become children of the one. Before you, before you lies the path back to the one. The end of this path can only be reached by those who create. Now that you are aware, you can choose to create or destroy. The more advanced you become, the more polarized toward creation you will become. The elimination of destructive actions is the way. This is a right way. There is a right way and a wrong way. But there is only one way home. You may have heard it said that actions are not the path to salvation, that by faith in a certain belief you are saved. I tell you that you are the sum of your actions, and it is by them alone that you may gauge your own spiritual level. If you are capable of the wrong actions, then you are wrong from within. If you do right or good actions, it is within you also. It is this balance of spirit that is the judgment. The only faith that has ever saved anyone is the faith that comes from believing in yourself. You are the only one responsible for your spiritual development. It is a long and hard process, to be sure. You can only achieve so much in each lifetime. It is not an easy road to travel, this road we call life. There are others who say there is an easier path, just believe this or that, but ask yourself this and be honest, for the only one you lie to now is yourself. If this were true, then life would be a piece of cake. It would be a gift too good to be true for mankind. Now, have you ever had anything that was too good to be tr true turn out to be real? The simple truth is that life is a battle, hard fought to win, but the true victor is the, but the true victor in it is you. I have heard you say you want a better world then you must be the one to change it. How do you change an entire world? One person at a time, starting with yourself. You must do what is necessary to correct your own life. You must learn the way in order to do this. I will show you how, or rather help you remember that which you have forgotten. There is much to learn, and even more to unlearn. I will tell you about life on this world and life on other worlds. You are not alone, and in fact, other beings have had a major impact on your particular world's development. Many of the problems that you now face are not of your own making. Long ago, a race of beings came to this world and interfered with that which was developing into mankind. It has, over the years, done a lot of harm to your development. It is not the only source of your of problems. Let's see. 
it is not the only source of problems and should not be blamed for all your ills. You must take responsibility for your own actions and do what is necessary to correct them. This and much more I will tell you of. I will do my part to teach. You must do your part and have the desire to better your world. Everything that I will tell you has been said before. Let's hope you use the gift of knowledge that is offered to better yourself and others. I do this because I believe in you and that mankind is a noble and promising addition to the collective. I ask only that you believe in yourselves as I do. I will leave you with the first lesson of the way. To begin to become a creator, you must create. One simple good deed is an act of creation. You will create the feeling of happiness in someone else. Do one of these good deeds each day. It can be as simple or as great as you wish to make it. What's important is that as you do it, you realize the purpose behind the action. It is not to gain points on your spiritual development chart. It is to create a feeling in someone else. Your action will cause the birth of a positive emotion in someone else. This is an act of creation, and you are the creator. The deed itself is unimportant. The change in yourself necessary to do it is. You will find that making someone else happy creates its own happiness within you. This emotion is a reflection of what you are. It is the reward that creation offers to those who create in others. It is the greatest gift the one has to offer and is part of the way. Until we speak again, practice this little daily exercise. Peace be with you. That was chapter two. So, we're going to break. No, I just started rolling, so let's use it. Chapter three. The way, chapter three. What is the way? You have seen our first two way chapters, and by now must be asking yourself many questions. What is the purpose of the way? is undoubtedly the first. Let us try to explain what our intent is and how we will accomplish it. The way is a very old and sincere attempt to bring a little light into a world that has known mostly darkness. Every few thousand years, the Elohim attempt to enlighten mankind as to their true nature and their relationship to the one. These first way chapters will be divided into two types. Type 1, historical. This type will give you an understanding of who you are and who the collective is. It will detail the chronological events.